Hi, this is Rachel from In the Library of Lady Vila and it's in my mailbox time. I wasn't really going to do a, a vlog, um, but I, because I only have one book, but I thought, bugger it, it's 11 o'clock at night, I'm perhaps a little bit uh, worse for worse for wear slightly after a night out. Not very much of a night out, I don't do full on club trawling, but yeah, a bit of alcohol. But anyway, yeah, one book, and I received this earlier this week because um, I won it from the Library Thing um, Early Reviewers Scheme, and I won already won a book by this same author which I need to read and review, but I've been sort of putting it off because it's the third in the series, but I'll have to get to that soon. But this sounds very interesting. It's called Ghost for Chance by Rhiannon Lassiter. Uh, I think it's basically the tagline is saying, how do you solve your own, own murder? Sort of, a girl who ends up dead and is, is like now kind of haunting this world and trying to find out who killed her. So it sounds quite interesting, it's, it's like about 350 pages long and the other book I've got by her is like a dystopian, um, I think they're British novels as well, but... So they sound, sound quite interesting, so I might get to this soon because I'm in the mood where I don't really want to be reading sort of YA contemporary or YA paranormal because the romancey stuff. I'm kind of in a non-romance mood with Valentine's Day just coming up because I'm now, I only last week got out of a quite a long-term relationship so I'm just not in a romance <coughs> mood at all. I feel like reading hardcore fantasy and stuff and maybe try rereading reading the Brent Weeks um, Shadows trilogy or something like that. Whatever it is. I'm rambling. I'm tipsy so I'm rambling. I'm sorry. But yeah. Um, also, I shall point out that there probably won't be any in my mailbox next week because cause this is February and I don't have a job. I'm now coming this frugal February where I'm not buying books I kind of can't afford to right now so I'm I have like nearly 200 books that I already own which I need to read so I'm not going to be buying books this month might borrow some from the library um, to sort of support the libraries a bit but I probably won't do I won't be doing my melts next week anyway because I'm going to be busy most of next weekend because I'm going to see Russell Howard with my sister yes if American people don't know who he is, he's a comedian, he's got a wonky eye, he's so adorable, but yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, apologies for my strange demeanour, um, <coughs> if anything does happen to turn up, because I might, don't know if I'm going to borrowing any books or anything from certain people, if they want to lend me books, that's fine, perhaps, hair is doing my head in. So, yeah. I might do some vlogs at some point during the week, maybe just for randoms, just because I haven't made a video in a while. Now you feel bad for neglecting you people, because I think I'm now up to over 100 subscribers on, on YouTube, which is kind of really cool. And, although, like, on the blog, it's more than that, because it's a different thing, obviously. But, and also, I should also point out that I've still got a comp um, contest running for my blog anniversary because it's running from January the 16th to February the 16th so you've still got about a week or so to enter and it's international you can either win a copy of The Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead or Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick and if I get the seven more people um, to get to 300 subscribers on Blogger I will add third a third prize to the pack which will be Ghost Town by Rachel Kane. So if I get, if I don't get to 300, then I won't be giving this one away, and I'll just have to wait until I actually do to to give it away. So it'll stay around as a as an extra prize book. But yeah, I'll put a link in the doobly doo to that contest, and it'll since this will be blog be around this hopefully. Um, I'll link to the post, and it should be on the top of my blog anyway. So yeah. I have just the one book and I've managed to rumble for five minutes. This is quite good. But anyway, what have you got in your mailbox this week?